welcome to meteor study center our today's question will be based on devia's cat paper cat 2024 slot c we have chosen this question for few reasons first one this question you can consider as missed question if you go through you will find that in the very first line, it is written that it is a question based on average. In the latter part, you will be getting another word here, arithmetic mean. So average and arithmetic mean will be same. Now, you have three distinct real numbers. This word real is very important. Real means it may be positive, it may be negative, it may be integer, may be fraction. Now, they have some relation in between the smallest number and largest number along with the average. Just check. Smallest number increased by 7. Largest number reduced by 10, so there will have some effect on the arithmetic mean or average. Done. There, due to this change, there will not have any change in the order that is also mentioned. And at the end, it is given that the difference between largest and smallest number now is 64. How you will be so sure that it is now? The word becomes signifies that it is the data now. So obviously in this particular question, you have some variables to assume. You have to frame some equation and then you have to solve. So this question is a mixed question of average as well as simple linear equation. So when we know that we have to assume the numbers, let the numbers be a, B, and C. A, A, B, and C, the original three numbers, their average is 28. So sum will be 28 into 3, 84. This will be your equation number 1. Now, second relation that the first number, the smallest one, increased by 7. A plus 7, B remains as it is, C reduced by 10. Now the new average becomes 2 more than the middle number. The middle number is B. So B plus 2 will be new average. So their sum will be coming as 2B plus 6. Now here you can go for certain simplification that on the left hand side you have A plus B plus C. Keep it as it is. Now plus 7 minus 10 it will be minus 3 on the left hand side. When it will be going to the right hand side it will be coming as 2B plus 9. 3 will be added with 6 or so 2b plus 9. Now, in equation 1, you know the value of a plus b plus c. Now, put here. So, you will be getting after simplification 84 minus 9. I think I have done simple mistake here. It will be 3B. It will be 3B plus 9. So how this point is coming? Why this confusion arises in my mind? That if we go with 2B, then 84 minus 9 will be odd number. It will not be divisible by 2. So there is high chance the number will be coming as decimal or fraction. But 
This is a Twitter question. So our answer will be in integer for sure. So what we are getting here that 84 minus 9, it is 75 divided by 3. B will be coming as 25. This will be your equation number 2. Right? Now third one. The difference between largest and smallest number becomes 64. Largest one is C minus 10. Minus the smallest one, A plus 7. That is 64. So what we are getting here, C minus A. On the left hand side, it will be minus 10 and minus of 7 it is minus 7. So on the left hand side, it will be getting minus 17. If we go to the right hand side, it will be coming as 64 plus 17. It will be coming as 81 and that will be your equation number 3. Now from equation number 2. From equation number 2, what you can do? You can collect the value of B25 and put it here. B is 25. So what value you are getting here? That A plus C will be coming as 84 minus 25. It will be coming as 59. And equation number 3 says C minus A 81. So I want to write it down in this way that minus A plus C it will be 81. The reason is that in our school days, we learned one concept that we have to always go with like term in equation. So A will be written just below another A, C will be written just below another C. So what we are getting here, if you simplify this, it will be coming as 2C equals to 140 and your value C will be coming as 70. That's your answer. Now, B already calculated. C is 70. That one is your answer. Now, in this particular question, they may ask you the value of A. Now, if we go with this equation, it is very much clear that C is 70. A plus C is 59. So, obviously, C will be negative. You need not to worry about this as because the question says they are distinct real numbers. They are not saying the numbers will be positive. So when this kind of information will be there, your answer may be negative. And if they will ask you the value of the smallest number, that is minus 11, then obviously options will be there and you have to mark minus 11. So this is very simple question of average combined with linear equation when you don't have any clue how to proceed what you have to do the thumb rule is you have to start from the beginning read the information got the data write it on the paper write it out on the paper and move to the next sentence then to the last sentence once you will reach the last sentence your 80% of the job will be done, rest part will be the solution only. 100% questions it will be there whenever you will be having this kind of problem that how to proceed. Very simple thing, read, write down, proceed and finally solve. A basic question of linear equation, so many students have problems in algebra, some lack of confidence in algebra, better word. So this particular question should be solvable, should be solved. And very simple thing, whenever this kind of question will be there, you can solve it, I can assure you, in two to three minutes. So be confident, think positive, Keep your head full and solve. All the best. If you have any doubt, you can call me on 84204-25084. If 
you have some doubt, you can put your comment in YouTube also. Thank you.